Hi, this is Paul from Third Space Learning, and today we're going to look at factorising quadratics where a is greater than 1. Remember, the general form of a quadratic is ax squared plus bx plus c. We previously looked at factorising quadratics when a equals 1, so make sure you check out that video first in the description below. As usual, I'll go through the topic using our online classroom and we'll have a look at some questions together. Make sure you check out the links at the end of the video for access to loads of free online resources, practice questions and information on our one-to-one -one tuition. OK, let's have a look at factorising a quadratic when a is greater than 1. Grab a pen and let's dive in. So let's look at factorising a quadratic in the form ax squared plus bx plus c, where a is greater than 1. So to start with, we need to multiply the two n numbers together. So 2 times 3 is 6. Next, we need to find two numbers that multiply to give positive 6 and add to give the middle number, which in this case is plus 5. Well, we know that 2 times 3 is 6 and 2 add 3 is 5. So what we have to do now is take the original quadratic and rewrite it. So that middle term, plus 5x, is going to be rewritten using our numbers. So plus 2x plus 3x. Next, we split it right down the middle and fully factorise the left-hand side, then fully factorise the right-hand side. Now you'll notice that we've got an x plus 1 in both of those brackets, and that's great news, because we can just bring that to the front and factorise it one more time. So at the front now, we have x plus 1 in a bracket, and in the second bracket, we put what's left, 2x and plus 3. And there we go, all done, fully factorised. Now... This requires lots and lots of practice, but it's a great skill. So let's have a go at one together. Grab your pen and let's see how we get on. So the question says, factorise 2x squared plus 3x, take away 2. Now we notice this is a quadratic and a, the coefficient of the x squared term, is greater than 1. It's 2 in this case. So to factorise this, we're going to take these n numbers and we're going to multiply them together. So 2 multiplied by negative 2 is just negative 4. And we need a pair of numbers that will add to give positive 3, and the same pair of numbers should multiply to give negative 4. So let's start by writing out the factors of 4. So that's going to be 1 and 4 and 2 and 2. Now I need a pair of those numbers that will multiply to give a negative 4. 4. Well, that tells me that the signs of those numbers must be different, because if we do a positive times a negative, we get negative, and if we do a negative times a positive, we get a negative. So, let's choose our pair. Well, because they need to add to give 3, it's going to be this pair here, 1 and 4. The only question is, which one's positive and which one's negative? Well, it's going to have to be a negative 1 and a positive 4, because if we add those together, we get a positive 3, which is what we want. And let's just double check, negative 1 multiplied by positive 4 is negative 4, so that works brilliantly. So our numbers are negative 1 and positive 4. Now the next job is to rewrite the original quadratic, but we're going to replace the plus 3x with our numbers, negative 1 and 4. So we're going to have negative 1x, or negative x, and positive 4x. And then the negative 2 is just there on the end like that. Now, let's split it right down the middle. Notice how I'm putting the line here, because on the right of my line is a plus, and that plus belongs to the 4x. So the line goes down the middle, and we're going to fully factorise this left-hand side. Well, what do we have in common here? We have a x in common, which means in the brackets we're going to have a 2x subtract 1. Right, let's fully factorise the right of that line now. Well, what do we have in common? Well, we've got a 2, so I can bring out a positive 2. And that means in the bracket we're going to have a 2x take away 1. Now, we'll notice that we've got a 2x subtract 1 here and a 2x subtract 1 here. Now, this is great news because this means I can take the 2x subtract 1 and bring that out to the front. 
And then I can open another bracket. And in this bracket, we're going to put the x and the plus 2. So x plus 2. So this means the final answer is 2x take away 1 bracket x plus 2. And there we go. Fully factorized. Let's see where those marks come from. So we're going to get one mark for having a 2x and a 1 in one of the brackets with some sort of sign in the middle and an x and a 2 in the other bracket with some sign in the middle. So even if we mess up the signs, we can still get a mark. But we want full marks, so the second mark comes from the fully correct answer. 2x take away 1, bracket x plus 2. And that's worth two marks. Okay, your turn. Pause the video and have a go at this one. Take it step by step. Best of luck. We'll go through it in a sec. Okay, let's see how we've done. So we're factorising it and we can see that a is greater than 1 because the coefficient of the y squared in this case is 2, which is bigger than 1. So let's start by multiplying the n numbers together. So it's 2 multiplied by negative 3, which is negative 6. And we need two numbers that will multiply to give negative 6 and add to give negative 1 because remember, there's a 1 in front of that y. So let's write down the factors of, of 6. So it's 1 and 6 and 2 and 3. And I need a pair of those numbers that will multiply to give that negative 6. So that tells me that the signs are going to have to be different because I know if a positive times a negative is a negative and a negative times a positive is a negative, to get that negative I want, I'm going to have to have different signs. So let's choose our pair. Well, because they must add to give negative 1, it's going to be these two, the 2 and the 3. So 1's positive, 1's negative. Well, to get that negative 1, it's going to have to be a negative 3 and a positive 2. Because if I add those together, think of the number line, we're going to get a negative 1, which is what we want. And let's just double check when we multiply them. 3 times 2 is 6, negative times positive is negative, and there we go. So we've got our numbers. They are negative 3 and positive 2. So let's rewrite the middle term of our original expression. So it was negative 1y. Now it's going to be negative 3y plus 2y, and there is a negative 3 on the end. And let's split it right down the middle. So we're going to fully factorise this to the left-hand side. Well, what do we have in common? Well, I can see a y in common there, which means that in the brackets we're going to have a 2y subtract 3. Let's factorise the right-hand side now. Well, I can't see anything that's in common with those terms, but we can always bring out a factor of 1. So in this case, let's bring out a factor of plus 1. And that means in the bracket we've just got 2y take away 3. And look at this, great news, we've got a 2y take away 3 in both of those brackets. So this means we can factorise this whole expression one more time. Bring out the 2y take away 3, and then in the other bracket, we can see we've got a y and a plus 1. So we get a y in there and a plus 1 there. And there it is, fully factorised. Let's see where the marks come from. So there's one mark. For a 2y and a 3 in one bracket with a sign in the middle, and a y and a 1 in the other bracket with a sign in the middle. But we want full marks, so the second mark is for the fully correct answer. 2y subtract 3, bracket y plus 1. Two mark question. Thanks so much for watching the video. Check out the description below for loads more information on this topic and for access to our library of free online resources and loads of information on our one-to-one -one tuition. Don't forget to like and subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest Third Space Learning videos.